Hi dear students, welcome to Ansar English Medium Online Classes. Nowadays, all are facing a big trouble. All are afraid about coronavirus. I know very well. There is no regular classes for any students in Kerala and in the world because of coronavirus. And also, there is a one more sad news. There is no classes for English medium students in our government part. Is it? Yes, of course. Don't worry. We will with you. Now you are in 8th standard, is it? Yes, of course. Now you are in 8th standard and the highest mm. level, first level of highest class. In, in a classroom, there are so many pupils or there are so many students which are like mathematics as a favorable subject. And someone may not be like, someone hate maths because of some issues. Maybe due to the teachers, maybe due to the content, maybe the lack of interest etc and so on here i sure to you mathematics is an easy chapter easy subject if you have interest definitely we can achieve more scores don't worry i am before that i introduce myself i am shahid ramsan one of your mathematics teacher in your school in this textbook or in this part we have to study three chapters. The first uh, for the first chapter is equal triangles. The second one is equations, and the third one is polygons. All chapters are very easy to understand. Don't worry, we can teach with you very easily. So let's start our journey. Let's start our class. Dear students, we already started our class. Here in this lesson, we are going to discuss about some previous knowledge and very important part. So just look at these examples. We can categorize triangles by two on the basis of angles and on the basis of sides of the triangles. First, we are going to discuss about the on the basis of sides of the triangle. Here it is. If two sides of a triangle are equal, then it is called an isosceles triangle. In this example, the two sides are 6 cm. What we called if three sides are equal? Yes, it's an equilateral triangle. Here, the lengths of each sides are equal because all are 5 cm. Then it is called an equilateral triangle. If the all sides are different, then it is called a scalene triangle. If all angles are less than 90, then it is called an acute angled triangle. If one angle is more than 90 degree, then it is called an obtuse angled triangle. Why I said the one angle is more than 90 degree? Do you have any guess? Do you have any answer? Here one angle is 120 degree. Third case is if one angle is 90 degree or perpendicular to each other, then it is called a right angled triangle. Do you understand? Yes, these are three types. You know very well how to draw a triangle with given measures. Here already I gave an assignment. Let's check with it. First, we draw a triangle with base 4 cm. Is it? Is it clear? Yes. There are two types with base 4 cm. Then we are going to draw another two types of triangles with base edge 5 cm. Here we can see one more. Actually, here given 4 
5 sand centimeter we already draw 4 centimeter then 5 centimeter and the last we are going to draw the base edge is with 7 centimeters these are the three sorry these are the six types of triangles with the same measures i hope you understand well also i ask it to you give a conclusion when we cut these old triangles we can conclude a statement because all triangles are equal consider these two triangles and look at these sides one is 4 cm 5 cm and 7 cm in both triangles each are equal 4 5 7 when we join this triangle to another we get the same answer both are same is it do you understand next we can take on the basis of angles here the angles are 102 degree 34 degree and 44 degree all are similar or all are equal all angles are compared to one to another equal here do you have any relationship between 102 degree and 7 for 34 degree to uh, 4 and 44 degree to 5 do you have any guess yes the largest angle is opposite to largest side and the smallest angle is opposite to smallest side and the middle angle is opposite to middle side is it yes so we can conclude on the basis of this statement if the sides of a triangle are equal to the sides of another triangle then the angles of the triangle are also equal please note it down in your notebook also we can conclude that if the sides of a triangle are equal to the sides of another triangle then the angles opposite to the equal sides of these triangles are equal if you have any doubt just look at the previous example and note it down it's in your notebook